Hey everybody, welcome back to the Golden Cloud. So today I'm going to bore the other shit out of you um, with my life in a box. Basically I'm going to go through my memory box and show you and this is the crap I have to go through. There's a lot there, but in fairness I'm going to make it as quick as possible. I'm going to skimp on the stuff that's crap and the better stuff. So, keep tuned! Gonna eat so many goddamn crumpets, it's gonna be a crump apocalypse. Okay, hi guys, I am back. So what I've actually done is I've gone through everything and I've just picked what I think you should look at and what you shouldn't. I actually forgot I have another box full of crap, but I was like, I'll tell you what was in them and what I kept on them rather than showing them off because there's just too much. So I thought the best way to start is with photographs. Yes, very embarrassing photographs. Um, I'm, I'm only... <laughs> My other half's gonna hate me for showing this because he does not like this photo, but I actually love it. I think it's a really nice photo. Um, I'm gonna cover the other one because he looks nasty in it and he'll give out to me. But this is one of my favourite photos with my partner. And that was taken on Pride, I think it was about three years ago, if I'm not mistaken. And um, sorry, I'm gonna run through this because it's gonna take forever. This is when I met Dougie Pointer from uh, McFly, and yes, that's me with a pierced eye and shaved hair. Uh, lovely, I know. Um, I was obsessed with him, I'm still obsessed with him, and now Ellie Golden's with him, and I can't hate her because I love her, but I hate her because she's with him, so unfortunately, and then obviously I met the rest of the gang as well, they were all there, blah blah blah, and um, that was actually my friend Mel, uh, who won tickets on spin, and she asked me to go because we were obsessed with it. Um, this, <laughs> this is so bad. This is me and another best friend of mine, Lynette, when we went to our JT concert and we dressed up like JT. Um, we thought we were deadly, but we weren't. <laughs> um, let me see. Da, 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 da. There's here's a little baby picture of me when um, I was just born. That's me there. I know you can't really see it. Unfortunately, the quality's not that great, but that was me. Um, that was years and years ago. Uh, let's see, I'm just trying to flick through and see what are the good and what are the bad and what ones I do want to show you and what ones I don't. <laughs> um, oh, no. Jesus, no, that's wrong. Any of them, none of them. This is me on my communion. That's me there. I know, so stylish. But yeah, those are, those are back in the day when you can get away with a, wearing ugly shit. Um, that's me and my sister when we were in Mexico and we were in sombreros and we played musical chairs and I came second and I got peed off um, because I didn't win anything and they gave me a big giant piñata which um, we did have a picture of somewhere but I can't find it. Um, it was a great holiday, it was really good. This was um, my 18th birthday, um, yes it was 18. Um, I had a party and all my friends came and dressed in part. Um, that was good fun as well. Let's see. Um, da, 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 da. This is when I met Joan Rivers um, at her concert, and they all showed me something else I got while I was there. And this is when I met Alexander Ludwig, who is gorgeous and works on Vikings, and that was when I was on Vikings. Um, and it's funny because we have similar t-shirts, so I, I like to think I'm just hot as well on that route. Um, that's obviously me at Gamescom, which uh, happened August gone, um, one of the best memories of my life. And this was the girl who came with me, uh, my best friend Nicole. Uh, we had an absolute blast, we were exhausted, but we had a blast. Um, this is going to be really bad quality and you can't really see, but that is me on the set of Vikings. Um, the picture itself isn't actually very clear, so it's nothing to do with my shitty camera that I use for this. Um, let me see. This, this is me on the top of Mount Etna. Um, I climbed to the top of it and that's a photo of me. You've probably seen it on my Facebook if you know me uh, well enough. And this actually is what a lot of people haven't seen. I'm really glad to show this. This was the photo just a couple of weeks back. Um, actually, sorry, maybe it's a month here now. Back that I was uh, in Channel Bar with in, in an exhibition. And that was the photo show. And that's just another photo show as well. And um, that was amazing. I love that. Um, these are photos. Um, I'll show you these two first. 
Uh, this shoot I did for my friend when we were in Scotland College and we were doing a bit of uh, photography and there's another two photos there and that's obviously me here and me here and me pretending to love women. It was great. I had to act. Didn't know I could do it. I think it was just the repulsion that helped. Um, these photos then, except for this one, these photos are ones that I took um, with my photography. My idea was masculinity. So obviously I had a bit of workout, there's a drift from that, you can't really see it here, so it worked really well. And this was kind of like the whole kind of, you know, Superman, girl, pose kind of masculinity thing. This was just everyday teenage masculinity. And bum, bum, bum. I'm so sorry, this is going to be a long video. But then I obviously did this one, which you can't really see on it, but there's a lot of veins running through that. And I like to, cap I like to capture the masculinity of veins because you don't obviously see a lot of women with veins on them. Um, and then this was a um, shaving process, obviously the man shaving is pretty masculine, so that was my idea for that one. Um, then we move on to, I promise, I promise I'll try to make this fast. And then we move on to my Dia de la Muerte photo shoot, which is my best friend of all again. And that was another two shots there, there, and there, and there. They were kind of my Dia de la Muerte uh, photo shoot that I decided to do. And um, this is when I grabbed Justin Timberlake's hand when he was coming towards me. You can't see my hand obviously, but you know, it was getting there. Um, lovely girl's name in the way. And that's it for the photo segment. Thank God, that part is done. Um, so I'm going to move on to now to education. So you've seen kind of a little bit of family life there and bits and pieces. I, did, I didn't want to show too much of my actual family, I just shouldn't say. But I'm moving on to education now. Okay, so let's start. And this is really bad because I always consider myself bad at school and bad at studying and stuff. Um, I'm actually a SWAT, it turns out. <laughs> um, really bad at SWAT. So the first thing was I did, uh, I got a computer mathematics degree, um, art degree, which is a certificate in um, fourth year of college, and that, or sorry, of secondary school. And that was for um, building websites and just knowing how to work with computer. And, and it's kind of a mix between ECDL and actual HTML and stuff like that. And um, so just it's a computer studies. Um, it was a, actually a mathematic one, but it doesn't say that on it. Um, but it was an optional section I could take and I did. Um, then I also did my ECDL in the same year. Um, and I got that from 2007, which is great because it hasn't changed enough yet that it's still valid. And I'm clinging onto that because I don't want to do it again. These are my results from fourth year, because I did the optional year in school. Um, and as you can see, they're all fours and fives and fours and fives and fours and fives, like I said, and SWAT. Some of the comments are, worked well this year, very pleasant student, um, always positive and cooperative, very good year's work, a pleasure to teach, very positive, very pleasant math, positive attitude at all times, pleasant student, well done, uh, always very pleasant, lovely student, gentle and cooperative, uh, very good student, works good, good student, good student, a positive uh, outlook, uh, a good terms work, uh, positive interest, interested and cooperative, uh, enthusiastic and very pleasant. So just out of interest, yeah, maths was the worst I did and it was very pleasant student but needs to put in more effort but I still got all five credits. So I still did quite good but maths is always my weak, uh, my weak one. And then just overall I got a great year, well done, that was it. Uh, and <laughs> I was absent 44 times <laughs> out of 333 roll calls. But in fairness, that's actually 22 times because we did roll call in one and roll call after. So it was 22 times out of it. And I actually remember, I think this was the year my parents were getting divorced. Now I can't remember, maybe it wasn't, but I think that was it. So I think that was all the, uh, the drama that was going on. So then that leaves me with my transition year magazine. Uh, which I kept, and that's all my notes from all my friends. I'll just read one or two real quickly. Um, Yo Shane, you sexy bitch. Uh, we miss all your hyper classes and freaky combos. You're the best, Jackie. Um, that's not a good one. Uh, before this year, I just thought he was that random guy in home ec. Now I just think of you as that random guy in TI, uh, or TY, sorry. Uh, ah, I'm only buzzing with you. I love you lots. And that was from Jane. Um, you're just shit cool, that's all you really need to know. Hope you keep in contact, enjoy your summer, lots of love, Ashling. Uh, Ashling is actually still a great friend of mine. Um, 
she was just I got along with her really really well um, and she is seriously seriously talented like a girl and she, it's just ridiculous and um, I did a segment in here I'm just trying to find it uh, page 27 and hopefully let me see where is it where is it where is it, where is it? oh god I'll show you a horrible photo of me it might not come up here either but I will try and show you a horrible photo where the hell am I god come on we basically had to take home these um, babies and they cried all every three hours. It was like a newborn baby and that was the whole idea of the thing was to get like a bit of practice in with it. Um, I rolled it, I got like 95% or something like that because obviously I'm just amazing like. Um, day one morning that was this. Uh, Jesus Christ, where am I? Transition here across them. I cannot find it for the life of me. It's in here somewhere. I know it is. That's my show in search. No. Steve Jackson. No. Here we go. I did a transition year review. So I reviewed the whole year. Um, that's my little article there. All written out. And there's my name on the bottom. Shane Purcell. So um, that was a good year. We did loads. We got to go to Carlingford. We did loads of stuff like that. Now I will show you some embarrassing photos. Uh, they're all in black and white and very badly photocopied. So I'm going to try to look for one that you can see. If you can make that out, that is me in the very corner. Yeah, I know. I actually don't look much different. It's more the hair, that's about it. Um, oh God, and there's a really bad photo of me there too. Oh, and that's when I used to wear glasses. God, that's bad. That photo at the very back, you can barely see that. I used to wear glasses. Yeah, that's why I don't wear them anymore. I still need to. Well, I'm not really bad, but I just don't want to wear them. <laughs> And then this was my graduation uh, certificate. So it's basically one little sheet of paper it just says that I completed school on Friday, the 23rd of May, 2008. I am really fucking old. So then I decided I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know where I wanted to go. I tried a year in journalism, absolutely hated it. It was really bad because um, you can't actually speak your mind. And um, hence why I love YouTube, because you can. Whereas with uh, the media, you can't. They control everything you say and everything you do. Uh, that's important, may I say, because if it's not important, you can say what you want. But um, so these were my grades. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I had ten classes, and I got six distinctions and four merits, and no passes because I did so well. So this was all the uh, classes I did. Uh, now I'm a bit shaky, but and that's all my things. So that was in multimedia and that's when I was like, yes, I definitely want to do this. I've always been good at it. Um, when I came out of school, I thought, you can't just do what you're good at, but it turned out you can. So then I went into first year of college, um, which I absolutely loved every minute. It was brilliant. Um, I worked at the library in college. I went to college and I was also on the... Um, God, I can't even remember the name, the Students' Union Board, basically, that I meet up at the college and we go to meetings, and this is like all the time, minutes from it and stuff, there's nothing important on it, so there's nothing showing you closer, but it's basically just like all the agendas and things that come up, and uh, anyone that reported anything through to me, I went to them and stuff like that, so I, my first year I did quite a lot, and um, I was also on the uh, IADT, uh, IADT QSA, which is the Career Straight Alliance, um, obviously like the LGBT, um, and it went to that quite a few times as well. So I was quite active. Um, this year wasn't so much. <laughs> this year I was just like, try to get by, try to get by. But this I kept because this is the worst exam I've ever done in my life. It's maths. I'm shy at maths. Anyone who knows me, no to maths. Get away from me. I can't stand them. Um, so this was just like the exam and it was in the says and um, I can't even remember what else the hell was on it. Uh, I don't even want to remember because it's horrible. Um, there was trigonometry and there was longer rhythms, factorization, uh, quadratic equations, vectors. Uh, there was a bit of JavaScript and there was a bit of Java as well. They, those are actually the easiest parts. Um, but this is the most horrible exam ever and I barely passed it, but I passed it. So this was the hardest exam I've ever done and I still passed it. So I am grateful and thankful for that and that's why I keep that to remind me that I can do it. This was the worst thing ever. I didn't attend all the classes. I didn't want to. I never got what she was talking about and I pushed myself at the very end and tried so hard and I got there. It is not great but thank god I did great and everything else that my overall was pretty high. 
but Jesus, this will always remind me I can always do it no matter what. So, so that is education over. So I think now we're going to look maybe at my artistic side and things that I tend to create and do myself. So let's get on with that. Ready, aim, fire.